Hi, welcome to Educator.com and another lesson in Adobe Illustrator 6 and today we're going to talk about drawing and drawing is the one I've been waiting for uh, quite a while so let's get to it okay so we're going to talk about the pencil tool and let's look in what's in the flyout section uh, so we have the pencil tool smooth tool and the path eraser tool so the pencil uh, works uh, actually works pretty similar to uh, the pen tool so if we go look at the pen tool real quick we'll see that it's really the same because really the, it shouldn't be named the pencil tool it should be named like a freehand drawing tool or freehand line tool so you look at they look pretty much the same so here's the pencil that has a little bit more points in it because it's not because it's following my hand or your hand and it's not as smooth as when you just draw two points and connect them okay so uh, now let's look at the um, oh, let me do something uh, a little bit irregular here because uh, I want to show you how you can smooth out um, the path so just by going close with the pencil tool uh, it can smooth out the path that you've done so now also uh, the more uh, it will either add points or or take away points whatever it needs to do to smooth out now also you had a smooth tool which i showed you earlier and that does the same thing so you see here okay now also you have the path eraser tool and it pretty much just cuts the path in half um, so that's what happens there okay so you just select and dice and slice with the path eraser tool okay so now if I just double click here and open up the pencil options just has to be a little bit more cooperative okay all right almost there. okay now I have the pencil tool options here you see fidelity is at 2.5 and the higher the fidelity the greater the distance between um, points and the smoothest I has set as zero because smoothest keeps it so it approximates the actual line that you're drawing you know if you put more smoothness then it's going to um, um, you know d make the line different so you have I have keep selected edit path edit select the past and this is we were in 12 pixels for the selected paths um, so something has to be within 12 pixels in order for the path to be selected okay okay that's the pencil tool uh, now let's move on to another tool that doesn't really have a good name the blob brush so here uh, you know I expected something more blobby um, but this is what it does and also it connects immediately so the blob brush is kind of schizophrenic because here you see it's, it's, it's created an object it's created a, a shape and it does this automatically so you just keep uh, drawing with the blob brush and if it connects to another blob line then it becomes a shape now even if you know the shape I can still erase it and it's not like the pathfinder tool so it's still one object unless I cut it right in half and then it's two separate objects okay so uh, that's the blob brush using with the eraser tool so uh, also the eraser tool can erase the the past the pencil tool line so you can see here just go through and just erase and, and you know, pretty much just disconnecting like what's there okay also with the blob brush I can hold down the right the right bracket key and make it larger and the left bracket key to make it smaller okay so you have some variety in size you can do that on the fly while you're drawing as I just showed you okay now let's look at the uh, blob brush two option here these are not selected so I'm going to show you what happens when I do keep select it and okay so now when I draw um, it stays selected unlike before and it gets a little bit larger and you see that they're selected now let me um, change uh, the selection boundaries so you can see them a little bit so go into layer options change this color to yellow click OK and now you can see that uh, the selection as it's being made 
Okay, so now you see that's selected with another blob line. And this is like with another one. Now let me, let's go back into the brush two options. So I'll merge only with selection. Let me show you what happens there. So now it doesn't connect with any blob shape. See, it only connects with a blob shape that was already selected. So that's what merge with selected does. So I can keep going on and on and on and it'll create another shape only with something that's already selected and leave the other blob shapes alone. Okay, so now let me show you what you can do with um, graphic styles with the blob brush. Okay, now uh, this doesn't work with all the graphic styles and, and also there's some unexpected results with the graphic style. So here's the reflect. Okay, it's not reflecting and that's because I still have this thing selected. So let me um, go back into uh, my blob brush two options and deselect those. And now this should work uh, correctly. Okay, select uh, live reflect. Okay, that was still selected. So now this should work. And as I draw something, okay, now it's reflecting. So this is good when you have something that's very symmetrical that you want to draw. Also, um, you can select a graphic style and draw immediately with that graphic style. Now this isn't the full graphic style though. So if I select the object as I already did with the blob brush and then select graphic style. Now we see it's really a bevel, but it did keep the thing. So that's what I was talking about before with unexpected results. Here I select another dust to dust graphic style and it does, does that here. So you have a, uh, a quite a few options beyond just drawing with you know the regular uh, color. You can add some graphic styles to this. You know there's more to explore here um, but you can do that on your own, have fun. The main thing, when you want to learn something, just, just have fun with it, just, just see how, how things happen. That's how I found, found that out. Okay, now, uh, I want to make this blob brush a little bit more expressive, so I'm going to change the options here. Uh, make this, uh, use pressure, and I'm going to make this 8 point, and I change the variation to 8 point, so the variation between the softest pressure to the medium pressure and the largest pressure is eight point each. Okay, so that's all I did there. So now when I draw heavier pressure, lighter pressure, heavier pressure, lighter pressure, now I got something with some personality to it. You know, something I can use now. I can really start getting down and drawing with it. Okay, so you know, I could just, just you know, just, just a quick doodle, do anything I want. And this closely approximates um, any raster brush. You know, that you may find in Photoshop or Paint or, or any other um, uh, tool. Okay, so I don't know where that came from out of my subconscious. So let's get rid of it and let's move on. Okay, now that blob, sh that blob didn't connect with uh, that object, but you can connect it with an, an object and a shape. So let me show you how to do that. So let me just create two uh, rectangles here. Once this one cooperates, now you have to keep uh, the rectangle selected, and then it'll connect and create a new shape. Now I can also do this with the pencil tool. So now you see the X by uh, the pencil cursor. That means it's going to create an open path. But if I want to create a closed path, I'll hold down the Option key, and then when it gets close, it's a, a zero. It's a circle. And then it'll connect the two points and create a path. And that's the path that I can fill. And also in the pencil toolbox, you can automatically fill the path if you want. But I like to have a little bit more control. Okay, so now let's go back to the pencil tool. And so you see it's an X. I have to select this uh, box first. So now just make a little crazy shape here. Hold down the Option key as I get close to the point that I want to connect to. And boom goes the dynamite. There, voila. We got two shapes that we created with our um, drawing tools. Okay, now let's uh, move on here. Blob brush is done. And now let's move on to the next fun tool, um, the calligraphic brushes. So let's open it up. So here, you see the defaults that are already here. And this symbol indicates calligraphic brush, and these are for other brushes, which we'll get to in a, a future lesson. All right, so now let me select my brush tool and just quickly show you the, what these brushes look like. So here's the five-point round, 15-point round, 
the three-point oval, the five-point oval, and the five-point flat. Um, again, looking kind of dull, you know, not very interesting. You know, the shapes are different. You know, there's some variation, you know, that you can see.